To complete one full circuit, the Egyptians knew it took the sun roughly 360 days. To this day, a circle is divided into 360 degrees, each degree representing the distance traveled by the sun against the background of stars in one day. And yet, the ancient Egyptians were well aware that the true year is 365, not 360 days. Through the ancient Greeks and later the Romans, modern Western culture has inherited the Egyptian and Mesopotamian calendar and astronomy. In modern India, the festival of Diwali takes on aspects of the Western Christmas. A high point of the year when presents are exchanged and the countryside glitters with festive lights. Diwali commemorates the victory of light over darkness and goodness over evil. Every autumn, just a few days after the full moon, it moves closest to a cluster of stars known as the Pleiades. In fact, its true name, Deepavali, means cluster of lights. An obvious reference to the brilliance of the Pleiades constellation. But the history of our understanding of the heavens has generated more than seasonal and religious calendars. Modern superstition and supernatural connections between heaven and earth also have ancient roots in celestial events. To the ancient Egyptians, the sight of one star once a year was believed to have a critical influence over the entire earthly well-being, heralding health and prosperity for the coming year. Once each year, the Nile floods its banks, fertilizing their farmland and assuring a bountiful harvest. And Egyptians came to believe that one special star was responsible for this recurring act of good fortune. Sothis was the Egyptian name for the star we now call Sirius. They noticed there was a time each year when Sothis could be seen rising in the early morning just before dawn. Soon, like clockwork, the Nile would flood, and the star was celebrated as the heavenly herald of Egypt's prosperity. The Egyptians inherited their understanding of the heavens from even earlier civilizations that developed in the so-called Fertile Crescent, then known as Mesopotamia. Here, in a land without stone, they built the first towns and once great monuments called ziggurats from the first mud bricks, much like those still used today. They were also among the first to map the pinpricks of light in the night sky. On these tiny preserved stones is carved the original zodiac, invented in Mesopotamia and passed down through the ancient Egyptians to modern day. It was here in Mesopotamia, when man first attempted to track the stars above, that the two great paths of understanding the heavens began to emerge, the science of astronomy and the beliefs of astrology. It was also the Mesopotamians who began imagining patterns and designs in the starry night sky. It became a celestial join the dot game and soon, the sky was filled with all kinds of creatures and characters, some from mythology, some from real life. These patterns and designs were passed from one early culture to another, becoming fixed quite early in the very shapes we still know and use today. They became the so-called signs of the zodiac of the modern world. They formed a band completely encircling the sky, and through which the sun, moon, and planets pass in their travels across the heavens. Modern astrology still has its roots in the belief that if you are born when the sun appears to be in front of a particular star sign, you come under its influence. Today, we can explain astrology as a cosmic optical illusion. Each day in its orbit around the sun, the earth moves a little farther in space creating the effect of the sun having moved slightly against the background of stars. The Mesopotamians also noticed five particularly bright stars that seemed to move against the background of the zodiac constellations. We now know these supposedly wandering stars were the five planets visible to the naked eye. 
The Mesopotamians recorded the wandering star as passing through the zodiac, a skill the Egyptians later adapted in the ancient Egyptian temple of Dendera. The modern zodiac signs of Sagittarius, Scorpio, and Libra can still be seen. The Greeks inherited the cosmology of Egypt and Mesopotamia. Our modern Western understanding is derived directly from the ancient Greeks. They played with many different ideas of the heavens, eventually arriving at an explanation of the cosmos that lasted nearly 1,500 years. Stars, they believed, were lights affixed to the inside of a giant sphere. The sun and the planets were set inside, attached to a series of crystal spheres, whose rotations explain the movement of the heavens as recorded through the ages. Ptolemy, a great Greek mathematical genius, cleverly explained the orbits of all the planets with the Earth at the center of the solar system. It was his theory that was to last until the 16th century, when Copernicus came up with a new cosmic order, in which the Sun, not the Earth, lay at the center of the system. And his work would lead to even more breakthroughs. Mysteries like the apparent backward movement of some planets were soon explained using the new arrangement of the solar system. This vision of the cosmos proved an important marker in the history of our understanding of the heavens. It also contributed to the diverging paths of astronomy, a science that can be tested for truth, and astrology, a mystical belief system. Today's astrological charts and the meaning we ascribe to the various signs are based upon models created thousands of years ago. Yet since that time, due to the very slow wobble of the Earth on its axis, the dates when the Sun is in front of the particular sign of the zodiac have changed. In fact, each has moved one entire constellation, meaning that people who now believe they were born in Aries were in reality born in the Pisces of the original charts. Even with 21st century knowledge, astrology is alive and well and followed by millions. While most scientists hold their theories to a higher standard of analysis and verification, something in astrology remains a potent belief system, attracting many to see what the stars hold for them. As our understanding has evolved, nature's laws have revealed themselves to us in various forms throughout time. Some have stared into the heavens and seen science as the answer to our most basic questions. For others, the fabric of the universe is woven of supernatural influence. And yet, either way, the gears and the wheels of our clockwork universe appear to mesh in perfect synchrony. The Egyptian sorcerers were not wrong in placing the sun at the center of their philosophy, though few now believe the sun is a god. But the impulse to see a divine plan in the heavens continues to course through our veins. As we now look across our galaxy, we can see other solar systems being born. When they are, it's likely some will support life. Some may even support intelligence. It's already possible there are thousands of civilizations out there, somewhere, studying us. There can be little doubt that like us, when they look up into the skies above them, they will marvel at the grandeur of the heavens. Like us, they may wonder where they fit into the universal design. Like us, they too may wonder what it all means. <laughs>